Here we go, here we go. Coming back at you from the Red Eye Loft. Today's video, I'm going to talk about these tipplers right here. So you can see the hen and cock. I just played these one time uh, in the past. They're really nice. They carry the copper grizzle. One's a 2018, the other one's a 2019 or a 2020. I believe it's a 2020, that, that guy right over there, the cock. The hen's a 2019 or 18. I'm sorry, 18. So the two babies that you see in there, that's their babies. That's what they produce. They're going through the molt, a heavy, heavy, heavy molt. And uh, the previous uh, pair were one copper and one like this. So, to the gentleman watching my videos, Jay, if you're interested in this pair and the baby, I can uh, sell you these. I have a couple more here that I'm going to display for you. I'm going to pause my video for a second. All right, coming back at you. Jay, this is uh, a pair I just put together. You can purchase these. The cock's on the left. The hen's on the right. The hen's are done. Of course, they're all, they don't look in their best shape to feathering because they're going through the molt. But these guys are available. This one carries a red grizzle. This one's a dun. There you have it. If you're interested, let me know. And we could do something. All right. I'm going to pause it here for a sec. Get another pair. All right, Jay. Continuing with these... Uh, tipplers these are from the uh, Godzilla family um, as you can see this guy right here is getting pecked behind his head as a cock in the loft getting aggressive with the other cocks young cock those look the same as far as colors bronze this one and that one look like twins and I put an expensive $20 band on that bird thinking it was going to be a bronze to keep, to stock, and it didn't happen. Same thing with this one. This is the Nestmate, the gold red eye loft band. That's a pair you're welcome to have. Hell, the bands were expensive. So that's a pair, Nestmates. That guy and this guy right here are Nestmates, this guy. And this guy was a different round, and that guy was a different round. But there you have it. You're welcome to get these if you desire to do so. So, we talk about another topic. Talk about what I've been doing here at the Red Eye Loft. As you can see, my fence looks clean now. If you recall in past videos, getting kind of dingy and dirty I'm not done I had to stop you can see from that panel moving forward those need to be taken care of and cleaned up I'm working on this all morning all the way down through here all the way down the reason why I'm making this video is because a good friend of mine from PA believe it or not a YouTube follower, a female, asked if I can make a video with my tipplers about cleanliness, uh, repairs done around the home, keeping your loft clean and tidy, paint it, fresh coat of paint. We've all been guilty of it. I've been guilty of it. We allow things to stack up around the loft. We let mildew and mold surround us. We let brush overgrow around the loft. So I decided to make this quick video for that person in PA. There you have it, folks. And to that, that lady over there, thank you very much for watching my videos. I'm showing you what I've been doing here. And I encourage everyone out there that's flying pigeons, keeping pigeons, 
keep your property nice. Your neighbors will love you for it. It'll show well when you're flying them. It'll make it a, a very nice environment for you when you go to watch your birds. Just completed that. 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 I didn't have a walk to my shed. That's really nice. Got to get a few more pieces of sod. And there you have it. I'm working on this. And to the person in PA, thank you for making that suggestion. I still have to pick up around here. I got to pick up that stuff. Still got lots of work to do. But it's a, uh, you know, work in progress. Completed this little landscape area here. I have to pressure wash that. That's how my entire fence looked like. Here in Florida, it gets nasty. But I'll take care of that maybe tomorrow. And like I said, folks, when you're watching my videos, I hope you enjoy them. I just encourage all my YouTube followers and the people watching. Make your place a desirable place to go to. You know, I've been guilty of it. I've let stuff stack around the loft. I've let mildew and mold on the loft. I've uh, let the brush grow over my loft. Uh, uh, I've done all that. But when it's time to work, it's time to work. And back to Jay. Let me just say thank you to the person in PA. It's a lady, believe it or not. She wanted to see that. So there you have it. I hope you enjoy it. I'm still working. Still got to do something with that garbage over there. Probably throw it away. I have to put those cages away. I have to finish pressure washing over there and over there. I still got plenty of work to do around here. But thank you to the lady in PA. Thank you very much. Now, Jay, here we go. This guy, once those feathers grow in, he'll look nice. Right now, he doesn't look the best. You don't have to get that guy. I like his markings. I like the colors. Got the bronze. If you're interested. But all the other ones are up for grabs. And I'll see if I can get you one pair of reds. So. You let me know. Jay. We'll decide. I'm off this.